Good morning. It's Friday morning. Hope that uh, it's a great day for you. Hope you've had a great and blessed week this week as it's coming to a, a good end and, and heading into a great weekend. Um, hope that uh, there are plenty of blessings in store for you even over the weekend. As always on Friday morning, I usually share a song and a story with you and uh, I have one ready to go to share with you this morning. So I'm going to jump into it uh, right now. The year was 1859. Susan and Anna Warner, who are talented daughters of a New York lawyer, they looked proudly at their latest novel entitled Say and Seal, which was soon to become a bestseller. Today, few people remember the plot, which stirred the hearts of a thousand readers. But it's a simple poem uh, appearing in the novel, which lives on and on and on. You see, Susan uh, requested of Anna a poem for a dying child. And so Anna wrote the wonderful words of a poem called Jesus Loves Me to bring comfort and peace. Well, that poem then was uh, placed in this novel uh, as a part of the story. And the original setting uh, for, for this poem in the story is this. In Say and Seal, the two, there were two characters. Their names were Faith Derrick and John Endicott. John Endicott Linden, excuse me. And they show great concern for a very sickly little fellow, little guy named Johnny Fax. When his condition becomes critical, he asks Mr. Linden to take him in his arms. And so the Sunday school teacher picks up the feverish boy and he begins to walk slowly back and forth across the room, trying to quiet the, the restless young man. And suddenly, Johnny looks at Mr. Linden and he says, sing, sing me a song. Faith listens as she hears Mr. Linden sing a song neither she nor Johnny have ever heard before. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. A few hours later, Johnny Fax's soul went to be with the one who loved him so very much. And the famed composer, William B. Bradbury, he discovered these lilting lines a few years later, and he set them to music in 1861 and added the chorus, which young and old enjoyed singing even to this day. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me with its simple and, and direct message is actually one of the first hymns that missionaries teach to new, uh, new converts. It was the favorite hymn of uh, Francis Schaeffer, who recognized that ultimately what intellectuals and children alike need is the simple message of Jesus. And that is that is exactly what it is. It's a simple message of Jesus, but yet very, very powerful. Um, and even Amy Carmichael, the Irish missionary to India, uh, she was converted after hearing this hymn at a children's mission in Yorkshire, England. And so it's a very simple song and a very simple message that we sing, but yet very powerful uh, for young and old alike. And in and, and hearing uh, the origin of the song and where the poem came from, uh, I think even brings that much more comfort uh, when we sing uh, this song. And uh, these original four verses, I think there have been a few verses added since then, but uh, these are the uh, four original verses uh, of the poem, Jesus Loves Me. Let's sing it together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still, though I'm weak and very ill, that I might from sin be free, bled and died upon the tree. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, 
heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay close beside me all the way. Thou hast bled and died for me. I will henceforth live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. What a great song. And what an even greater message. Uh, we have a Savior who loves us, uh, who died with us, but who is very much alive and very much continues to walk with us, uh, close beside us all the way. Hope this encourages you today. Um, I hope that uh, it gives you a little bit, uh, maybe new meaning or a little bit deeper meaning of the song, Jesus Loves Me. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend. May resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Words of life, words of hope. 